Hi, and welcome back to the Event Lighting Channel. 1.9 of Grain MA3 software dropped today, which is kind of cool. And uh, I just wanted to do like a quick episode on uh, some of the different functionalities you'll find in there. So the first thing I'm gonna show you is uh, the new load options. So if we go into the show right here, and if we wanna load a show now, we go into backup, we go into load, and now you can see all these settings we knew from uh, from GrainMA2, they are actually back in uh, GrainMA3, which is uh, super cool. So that's part of uh, 1.9. Another thing, if we uh, close this stuff and we go into the patch right here, uh, I just want to patch some uh, spiders. I want to patch them in mode 10, and uh, I'll show you why in a second, because this is really, really cool. So uh, we select spiders in mode 10, we patch 25 of them, and we just let the DMX patch figure it out on its own. Now here's something new in the patch. You can now uh, directly in the patch go in and set all your 3D positions, which I think is really nice. So if you go up here and you show 3D, you can see your 3D window in your patch uh, already in, in inside here. So uh, we already selected all our spiders, so we can just uh, go into this uh, window over here and we can put them up in the air and we can rotate them towards us up to 90 degrees like this and then we need to arrange them in a grid like this and this is a little bit difficult and we need to do it on the x and c axis and reset the y axis like this so now we have a grid with uh, 25 uh, spiders in it set up directly in the 3D window, which I think is kind of cool. So let's just exit this, and we can see in our uh, 3D window here that we already have it in, uh, in here. So if we select all our fixtures, and we uh, put them into the selection grid here, you can now press down into the sub-fixtures, and once more, another layer down, and you can press this button over here, and it's really hard to see, so I'll just turn them on. If I can, somehow I need to select them again and turn them on like this. And we press down one more time and down one more time. And we press this button here. And now you can see it aligned it uh, into the sub-fixtures in the selection grid, which is kind of cool. And now the selection grid works exactly the way we know it from the previous versions. You can now use the selection grid on your sub-fixtures, on the tiny little cells in your sub-fixtures, and, and run uh, effects across it. The, the promise is that the selection grid now works on sub-fixtures and you can arrange them. If you have a proper GDTF fixture, you can arrange it uh, in the selection grid and you can apply your effects on uh, X, Y and Z axis. Uh, like we could uh, before. So that's one new very cool feature of uh, 1.9 Grain MA3. Another feature is the uh, phaser or the encoder bar down here. It has a, a few changes. So if we go in and have a look here, you can now see it just, uh, I'm just running the effect uh, I showed you before in the selection grid. You can see now here you have the uh, phaser overall and the phaser steps. So phaser overall is like the entire thing uh, where you can change uh, speed and uh, you can assign a speed master, which is new, uh, also in, in directly in a uh, phaser preset. So that's been requested quite a bit, uh, actually, on, on forums. You could do that in MA2, and now you are able to do that in MA3 as well. So if you want to assign a speed master directly into a phaser uh, preset, you can uh, now do that. But uh, if you look down here, you have the phaser overall, where you can change a few things. Uh, and you can go into the phaser steps and uh, look at the uh, acceleration and deceleration, transition width and stuff like that uh, straight down here in the encoder bar. So I think it's, uh, it's going to give a little bit more visibility and a little bit more clarity on, uh, on working with phasers uh, on Grain MA3 1.9. The next thing I want to show you is uh, in the 3D view, I think in the fixture view and, and some other places, maybe in the layout as well, I'm not really sure, uh, you can see how many fixtures you select. So if we look at the 3D view here, you can see, if we just clear this just for the fun of it, 
uh, you have 3D select up here. If I select some of the fixtures, you can see that I have selected 16 fixtures. And if we go in and find the sequence sheet, and by the way, this is reworked as well. This entire thing has been reworked. And it's very cool that you can search for things. I think you could do that in the previous versions as well. But searching for things uh, like, for instance, in this case, fixture view or fixture sheet, you can do it like this. And uh, up here, you can see it's selected as well. So that's another feature of uh, GrainMA3 1.9, which I think is uh, really useful. Another thing in GrainMA3 uh, version 1.9 is notes. Notes has been highly requested, especially theater people and, uh, and business like that. They want notes back into the sequences. And uh, GrainMA3 1.9, added notes almost everywhere. You can add notes everywhere. So let me just show you how it works. You have your queue, uh, sequence uh, queue list here. And if you go all the way down here, you can see I added a few notes here. What you can do, you can see I have note for Q1 here. If you go up into the window up here and you go into mask, you can choose whether to show the notes or not down here. You can also add the uh, info window like this. And then you have the option of having your notes over here. So we want to select this one, uh, selected sequence, which is uh, sequence number one. And you can go down here and you can uh, link it to current queue or you can link it to next queue. This is all up to you. So this is uh, notes back in uh, GrainMA3. And while we're in here in the sequences, we have some new masking options as well, because we have all these uh, all these things here, and, and in GrainMA2 you, you could uh, drag them and, and move them around, which you can't do in GrainMA3 yet, but uh, you can do something else. So if you go up here and you go into mask here, you can simply take everything away uh, the way you like it, and, uh, and you can simply just show exactly what you need to see. So if you're running a theater show, uh, maybe uh, uh, having uh, the queue number and the node, if it's already pre-programmed, that could be enough for you. Another new addition to GrainMA3 is uh, Quiggies or Quick Keys. I think it was a thing on GrainMA1 and not on GrainMA2, I'm not sure, but uh, they are back in uh, GrainMA3 uh, 1.9 anyway. So uh, let's have a look here. If we uh, go into an empty space and we search for Quick, and you can find these Quick Keys down here. Uh, you can assign uh, a preset or a quickie to be almost anything. You go into edit, you go into code here, and you can choose between all these uh, different commands in here. So for instance, if we say, let's see if we can find store as one of them. Let's see if we can do the next one as a uh, sequence maybe right here. And let's do one with a Q. And we close this down. Now we can clear this just to be certain. We can uh, assign a clear key as well just for the fun of it. Uh, right here. So now you can say store sequence one, Q one, and then up here, for instance. So, I mean, that's the new thing about uh, Quiggish. You can, I, I mean, you can assign it to, to almost any place and you can uh, move it around and you can do whatever. Uh, I don't know how much functionality there is in it. I think it's been uh, requested. Uh, I think a lot of people are going to use it as, as, as soon as you uh, start using the console. One thing, though, if you want to change this, normally you would just press it and hold it and that doesn't work anymore. Or not anymore, that's because it's a direct action thing. So if you go up here and go in and you want to edit it, you simply click this CLI on and now you have the option of editing it. And then when you go back, you can simply turn this one off again and it works uh, as before. So uh, that's a new addition to uh, GrainMA3. Quiggies is back in version 1.9. Another new feature uh, back in GrainMA3, uh, which we had in GrainMA2 and which I personally have used a lot, is uh, direct action in uh, sequences and, and I think it's in presets as well, actually. Uh, if you go in here and you have a look in our sequence, uh, sequence window here, we can go in and 
we have this new action down here. And if you right click, you can see what you can do. You can set it up as flash, go plus, temp and toggle. So in our case, let's just set uh, this up as a uh, go plus and close this one down. You can actually open up another one uh, we need the pre says the data pools the sequences here and you can assign that uh, to a, a different way so if you go in here and you we set this up as go plus we can now uh, press this one direct and uh, I made just a few uh, color things in here which is direct sequences uh, I think it's uh, it's kind of cool uh, that we can do that now and uh, I think it's going to make, uh, if you want to do like a, a simple busking show, it's going to be a lot easier to do with the, the direct action. You can really, really fast build yourself a, uh, a busking show file for a simple gig uh, this way. So that's back in Graname 3, 1.9 is direct action in sequences and I think in uh, presets as well somewhere. Uh, we'll see. <laughs> Drop a comment uh, down below if you, if you have uh, played around with it and tested it out. So this was just a quick video of some of the features in uh, GrainMA 3 1.9. There's a lot of new features which I haven't mentioned here. There is release notes on uh, MA uh, website on MA's website, and I think it's 61 pages of, of course, of uh, uh, changes and new features and of course bug lists and stuff like that. So you should go in and check it out. I'm going to link uh, link to it uh, down below. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this episode and uh, I will see you next time on the Event Lighting channel. So uh, see ya. Bye bye.